The General Secretary of the largest opposition NDC, Johnson and Sidu has joined me in the studio. Sidu Kethia, thank you for your time uh, this oh. evening. I'm sure uh, this meeting is sat through. But how do you react to the position now as the Adv Advisory Committee has recommended to the Electoral Commission? Well, thank you very much. Uh, I think that we are picking bits and pieces of this uh, position from the media. I would expect that uh, we will be communicated to so that we have a basis of uh, taking a decision. And um, this position has not been taken by NDC alone. We have come together as a, a group of political parties to pursue this line of action. And I expect that as soon as we receive official communication, we will then be in a position to call a meeting and discuss it, and then uh, whatever our response is, we will communicate it. But uh, let me say that uh, it's, uh, it's a welcome news. It's a good step in the right mm -hmm. uh, direction, because we, our position has always been that, look, we are in this together. Ghana belongs to all of us. Before we can move, let us assess where we are let us all agree that there are shortcomings about where we are and for which reason that there may be or may not be a, a, a need to move to a new position. Mm -hmm. Then after we have all agreed that there is a need to move, we will proceed to now uh, interrogate whether which other position we can occupy which will be better than the current situation. When we all agree to that one, then we will come to pursue uh, how do we get to the new position we want to get to. That is how change is managed. And this has been our position all along. But we are we're disappointed when the Electoral Commission seemed to be uh, putting all these three steps together, all jumbled together, while there is some debate about the need to change the register or maintain it, then uh, they move to uh, the, the, the need to get facial recognition and, and all that. And then, whilst all these have not been settled, there is a procurement process. Mm. So, um, we think that if uh, they have realized that uh, things must be done properly, we are prepared. All the, the documents they have been citing, mm. we've been calling them. If you want us to reason together right. and arrive at a common position, mm then we should all get the evidence and pursue the evidence together. None of the documents they've been quoting in their press conferences has been made available to any of us. They've not been made available to no. you. But the ECA's position has always been that if, if they maintain this current register and go with it, it's going to cost them more as against uh, going with a, a new register, as has always been their position, as you put out. We have said that that cannot be true. It's not born out of the documents they themselves have prepared and presented to Parliament. And indeed, yesterday, I demonstrated mm -hmm. it to them. They have been creating the impression in their press conferences that the new uh, register, everything, will cost us about $444 million, which we have disputed because I just pulled their own budget, which they submitted to Parliament. And from that budget, it is clear that uh, new equipment and new registration will cost the nation more than 800 million. So whom are they trying to deceive? So I guess see, I, and then they keep also uh, quoting some communication between them and the vendors of the existing equipment that the, the, the vendors have uh, uh, you know, concluded that these are obsolete equipment, they cannot be maintained mm -hmm. and, and, and all that. We say yes. let us have copies of all that trail of communication between you and the vendors, and then we can all assess the situation together and move forward. All those things are, 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 are being uh, you know, hidden away from us. They also cite uh, the report of consultants who reviewed their uh, IT situation mm -hmm. They claim as far back as Charlotte says, exactly. term, and, and did some recommendations. And we say, okay, let us have the report. That report has not been given to anybody. So how do you expect us to agree with you that these are two things. If we buy right. this, it will be cheaper 
by 20 million. We say, what is the cost of this and what is the cost of that? So that together we'll be able to deduct and arrive at the solution. I say, I won't show you the cost. So how are we expected to take a decision? So I get the, uh, the, the indication that if this invitation should come, you're, you're going to go ahead and, all right, and go into the dialogue. But you're going into it with the position that you are against the compilation of a new register. No, we moved to that position because Electoral Commission said they are going to compile a new register whether anybody likes it or not. Mm -hmm. And then we said no. We are at a situation where we, we are where we are. Mm -hmm. We need to be convinced that there is a need to change. So until you convince us that there is a need to change, the status quo anti should remain. So we must defend the status quo. Unless, right. So it is up to the commission to convince us that there is a need to move forward. So that is it. But okay. that is not to shut the door completely to any form of change. Mm. But let us reason together. Let us review the evidence together. Right. And let us, re uh, uh, so that we will all right. agree that there is a need to change. Mm. And then, if the need, that need to change will serve the interests of Ghana, why not? But we will not allow uh, some change that is based on the figment of people's imagination, which is not backed by any sound reasoning. Johnson is sitting here. Thank you for your time this evening. Extremely grateful. He's General Secretary of the NDC. Johnson is here. Don't joining me in the studio uh, uh, also to deliberate as well on the way forward with that proposal by the 21 member committee, uh, that's advisory committee that's put together and they uh, making that recommendation to the Electoral Commission to consider engaging a lot more with the political parties on that decision to compile a new voters register.